and welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we're talking about the Poco X4 Pro 5G and whether or not it will work on your US carrier's network. The X4 Pro is the latest budget blow up from Xiaomi's Paco line. Paco, Poco, one of the two. For around 250 USD, you get a slick looking phone with a 6.67 inch full HD plus AMOLED display and a 120 hertz refresh rate. A Snapdragon 695 processor with at least six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 67 watt charging, a headphone jack, and of course, as the name implies, it can use some 5G. So definitely a good feature to cost ratio, as you would expect from a Poco phone, and the phone is reviewing pretty well, which is probably why you're here and wanting to know if this phone is worth bringing over into the US. Well, the first thing you need to know is Poco is not selling the global version of the phone here, nor does it look like they have any plans to do so in the future which means to get the phone here, you will need to use a third-party seller, and using a third-party seller will almost always void the phone's warranty. So if you do get the phone over here and it doesn't work, you're most likely going to be stuck with it. The next thing you need to know is a lot of people have been leaving a lot of comments on the videos on this channel about their carriers no longer supporting uncertified and imported phones. This is happening to people with a wide variety of phones across all major carriers. And since all smaller and prepaid network providers such as Mint Mobile, Cricket, and Boost are either owned by or use the major carriers networks, you are most likely going to run into these problems with them as well. And since this phone is not going to be certified to work on any US carrier network, there's a good chance the phone won't work properly over here, assuming you can even get it activated. And even if you do get the phone activated and get some decent service, your carrier has the right and the ability to cancel service to non-certified devices at any time. So just because the phone works today does not mean it will continue to work tomorrow. So in light of all this, it's very difficult to recommend importing any phones into the US at this time. What I can recommend if you are finding this video to be useful is a thumbs up and a sub to the channel. That's good advice, Marty. Now, if you are an adventurous type and you are still thinking about bringing over the X4, I will let you know if the phone has the antennas and other hardware on board to utilize your carrier's frequency bands. Verizon almost never lets uncertified phones on its network, and even if by some miracle you do get the phone activated, you won't be able to take advantage of any of Verizon's newly acquired C-band or millimeter wave 5G, and the phone only supports one of Verizon's sub-6 5G bands. The phone uses some of Verizon's 4G bands, but it's missing their big band, band 13, so your 4G coverage would probably not be real great either. AT&T has never let uncertified devices on its 5G network, and since their 3G network shut down in February, a lot of people are reporting that their uncertified phones have entirely stopped working on their network. If you do get the phone activated on AT&T, you might get some decent 4G coverage as many of AT&T's 4G frequency bands are supported, including their primary frequency bands. As for T-Mobile, this year they have started pulling support for phones that don't use their voice over LTE, and it doesn't look like the X4 will support that feature. I was actually able to do an IMEI check on T-Mobile's website with an X3 Pro, and it came up as only being partially compatible on their network, so I'm assuming the story will be the same with the X4. If you are able to get this phone activated on T-Mobile, it doesn't look like you'll be getting any 5G, as this phone only supports sub-6 5G, and it doesn't support any of the sub-6 5G bands T-Mobile uses. As for 4G, all of T-Mobile's major frequency bands are supported, so you might get some decent 4G coverage, once again, if you can get the phone activated. Well, that's all the information I have for today. If you do wind up picking up the X4, please feel free to come back here and let us know your experiences down in the comments so we can all learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.